Hello friends, welcome back to Chemical Engineering Courses. Today we learn about B reflux, types of reflux, importance of reflux and effect of reflux on costing. Also we learn when we use partial reflux, when we use zero reflux and when we use total reflux. This video is very important for all chemical engineer or chemist please don't skip it. Last section is very important because in last section we discuss effect of reflux on costing like capex and opex. So please watch full video. It will be take 3 minutes approx. Also if you are new to my channel please subscribe and like the video. Ok let's start the video. Have you ever wondered how we separate different components from a mixture? One of the most popular ways is through distillation. And one of the key components in a distillation column is reflux. Yes, reflux play an vital role in distillation column. Reflux is the process of condensing a portion of the vapor or total vapor produced in a distillation column and returning it to the column as liquid. This liquid helps in improving the separation of the different components in the mixture. Now question is what are the importance of reflux in distillation column? The importance of reflux in a distillation column cannot be overstated. It helps in achieving higher purity products. It improves the efficiency reducing energy costs and increasing the capacity of the column. There are three main types of reflux commonly used in distillation columns. The first is particle reflux. In this type, only a portion of the vapor produced in the column is condensed and returned to the column as liquid. Example if we do 30% collection and 70% condensate sent back to column. Now question is when we use partial reflux. And what are the advantages and disadvantages of partial reflux? Partial reflux use when we need to maintain the purity of collection. Like in distillation normal at the starting of distillation. We set column under total reflux. After some time as per analysis report we start the partial collection and partial reflux. We use optimum reflux ratio as per our process required purity. Please don't skip video. You will miss some important information. Up now let's start on second type. The second type is total reflux. In total reflux, all the vapor produced in the column is condensed and returned to the column as liquid. It mean what? It means we do zero collection of condensate. Mean all condensate we send back to column. Now question is what is use of total reflux? Why we are not collecting the distillate? At the starting of distillation we generally set column under total reflux to set the equilibrium condition. Once equilibrium set we start the partial collection or total collection as per process requirement. Let's discuss about third type of reflux. That is, zero reflux or total collection. In this type, no liquid is returned to the column. If separation is too easy then we use zero reflux concept. Like if column packing or tray is sufficient for separation then we don't need to use reflux the the time we start 100% collection. I'll hope you get idea about when we use zero reflux, when we use total reflux, and when we use partial reflux. Let's discuss about effect of reflux on capex and effect of reflux on opex. In case of total reflux we need more diameter of column or need more energy for heating and cooling both purpose. So, if we use total reflux more time like for 2 hours or 3 hours we need more operations cost. Need more operation cost because it consumes more energy. In case of partial reflux, if we increase the collection and reduces the reflux, we can save the energy it means we can save the operation cost. Also if we use more collection than reflux we can save capex because if collection is more then automatically we need less diameter of column or less heat exchanger size or heating and cooling. In short, if we use more collection then we can save initial investment that is capex. Also we save the operating cost or opex. If we use more reflux then we need more capex and also we need to spend more operation cost. Mean in case of more reflux we need more capex and opex both. So, whether you are producing chemicals, refining petroleum or making your own spirits, reflux is an important process in achieving the desired results. In description section you will get some important video link and some very very important article for chemical engineer or chemist, please check the description box. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on chemistry and engineering.